example five here, it says find A, B, and C. And we can do this several different ways. Let's first of all start with A. So on A, if I just look at this line, this line, and this line, those three lines, don't look at anything else. I can say 3 over 9 is equal to 2 over A. Now I can reduce this. 3 over 9 can be reduced to 1 third is equal to 2 over A. So that makes it simple. A times 1 is A. 2 times 3 is 6. So A is equal to 6. Okay. Now I need to find B and C. So here's my problem. Here's C and here's B. It's in the same proportion of 3 to 4, but I can't find them both like that because this side is empty. So what I'm going to do is this. For to find B, I'm going to look at this line, this line, and this line. So now this is going to be 3 over B is equal to 2 over 4. And 2 over 4 I can reduce to 1 half, so 3 over B is equal to 1 over 2. So then, B is equal to 6. So A is equal to 6. B is equal to 6. And now I need to find C. So now I can find C because I'm going to look at this line, this line, and this line. Now I still don't know what B well, I found what B is. B is equal to 6. So now I can say 4 over 3 is equal to 6 over C. And I can't reduce it. It's already reduced already. So I have 4 C is equal to 18. Divide both sides by 4 and I get 18 over 4. Now that can reduce divide both by 2, that can reduce into 9 divided by 2. So I can leave it as a fraction, 9 divided by 2, or I can just do it as a decimal, which is 4.5. And so that is what C is.